What's going on? Figured I would uh, go more into detail on the Griswold Crossing signal that I built. I built two of them. Let's start with a walk around real quick. So these lights are half scale, eight inch by 20 inch lights. So basically took some four inch truck lights and then also some four inch ABS, cut that to shape, tape glued that together. Also took some quarter inch plywood, cut a hole in the center and glued that. Uh, the back side here and though that's made of a uh, ABS cap. That's also four inch size and these little uh, side lights here, that's half inch PVC. And we're just using these screws here on the side to keep the whole thing together. And of course I've got an adapter right there. It goes into a threaded elbow. And the, these, these arms here are a little interesting. I had to make a special jig to bend those. And to keep it from collapsing, I also had to run a spring on the inside. And that's how I got that bend. That's three quarter inch PVC. And then just simply a T. And then a metal, not PVC, uh, junction box. It has threaded ends on it. Keep that in mind. And then just take a three quarter inch threaded nipple. I forgot what length I used, but you have to cut it in half and then slip the T onto one end. Crossbuck, that's pretty simple. Um, I ended up going with the Canadian style because I think that looks cooler. And then that's just some three quarter inch aluminum flat bar. Got a cap on top of there. And probably what everyone want, really wants to see, the inside of the gate mechanism. Just open these latches. Honestly, I don't think it's really impressive. What's more impressive is the bell down there. That is a WRS mechanical bell, which I had to take some parts off of it to get it to fit. But it's a real bell. Got a switch right here that is to drop the gate for maintenance reasons. This set of these sets of contacts here. This one remember correctly is for the flashing lights so when these open as a safety it will cause the lights to flash and this one I believe that is the power up contact and that will open when the gate is in the fully raised position then I have the power down contact and the power down contact I'm gonna go to the back side here that is wired into this adjustable resistor to control the rate of descent. I did not put one on the power up because I wanted to clear it a lot quicker than it goes down. And for power, we've got a linear actuator. It's a four inch stroke. I really think it's not ideal. What I really want to do at some point, and this is why I have a Patreon page, is I want to actually get some proper gears made and a motor sourced out with a brake on the end so that I also have that redundant gate drop if there's ever a power failure. But you know, you work with what you got when you're on a budget. For the frame, I just welded some angle iron and some flat bar, drilled it out, it's all bolted together. I've also got self-centering pillow block bearings on the ends on a one inch shaft. And I've also got the hubs right there. The support arms, those are made out of plywood. I also made a jig for this uh, and used a router to cut all this out. It's two pieces of plywood that I just layered. And the entire case here is also made of plywood. And the way I did that was I just mitered all of the edges at 45 degrees with a, with a circular saw. 
and the entire thing is glued. There are no screws holding that together whatsoever. It is all glued. That coupling right there just helps me to take the lights off for portability. Yeah, it's actually, there's actually a piece underneath. If I could turn my flashlight on. Yeah, right there. That right there is what holds the lights up. And that's pretty much it when it comes to, again, the one more thing I did forget. It's kind of silly, but the counterweights are also made out of plywood, but those proved not to be heavy enough. So I ended up taking some pretty thick flat bar, drilling some holes in that, and then attaching that. And that seemed to fix the problem. Wishbone style gate, it's also made of plywood. Anyway, I suppose we'll end this. I'm just gonna close the door there. Go from the back side, and we'll flip the switch. Like I mentioned before with that, with the flashing lights contact, that's the safety, the lights came on. Also got the gate lights. Just like that. Be sure to leave a comment, like this video, and subscribe. And also be sure to check out my Patreon page if you haven't already, and I'll see you on the next one.